Hello everyone. Today I have this Lenovo motherboard that came in with no USB port works. Neither these in the back nor those that goes to the front of the housing. Okay, so what I have done, I actually started recording what I am doing, but I don't know what has happened. It did not record anything. But I'll explain to you what I have done. First, I have reflashed the, the BIOS twice, but it, that did not fix the problem. Then I have uh, tried to measure the 5 volts at the USB ports, but when I came to this port over here, there was no 5 volts. The others, for example, these two, they have 5 volts, and these that goes to the front of the CPU casing, they do have 5 volts. But this two, these two, did not have the 5 volts. So I looked at the schematic and I found that these little ICs this one for example and this one I'll go under the microscope so you can see them okay so this one that controls the 5 volts that goes to this to these USB boards that did not have 5 volts this one over here controls the 5 volt that goes to these two these two USB ports okay so these are identical this one and this one are identical and also there is another for the the front USBs when I checked these at the schematic these ICs have 5 volts input at pin 1 and 2 3 is ground, 4 is enable signal, okay so uh, I mean 4 is the USB mode, 5 is the enable signal, 6 the over current protection, 7 and 8 is the output that goes to the USBs. This one over there, over here, did not have the 5 volts over here, it does have the enable signal but there is no 5 volts coming out out here out there the overvolt over voltage protection pin is active low so if this pin is low that will tell the tell the motherboard that there is an overcurrent protection this ic this ic is in overcurrent protection so I was getting no voltage at this bin, bin 6. But the others, for example this one, and the others in the front over there, they all have 3.3 volts at bin 6. Instead, this one, unless this one, only this one, did not have 3.3 volt at bin 6. So, and also there is no output of it, so no 5 volt goes to the USBs. So, I said that maybe this one affecting all the USBs because there was no USB works. Okay, so I replaced this from a donor board and now they are, they are all working. Let's try it. I'll go to camera mode again. Okay, so let me switch it on. Let's, let's check the mouse. The mouse now have the power and the USB have the light. So there is voltage going to the USBs. I want to show you the picture of the screen, but I don't know. I am using this 
converter from VGA to HDMI, but I don't know why it's not working now. It should work. Let me try Alt Control Delete and go F1. Let me start the BIOS setup. Still, there is no screen. I think this is not a good adapter. It worked for around three times, but now it's not working. The main thing that now we have the power that goes to the USBs. I have connected one to these two USBs and one to these, so I can check them both. As you can see, we have the keyboard light, and now we have the mouse light. So I will try and check the display and I will show you that this motherboard now is functional. I have connected this uh, DVI to HDMI instead of using this because I couldn't get any picture out of this so I disconnected it and uh, as you can see now we have this keyboard and when I press anything we get response so this motherboard is now a fix thank you for watching i hope you learned something new if you liked my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching